Hey, what's up? Quattro here for the Ultimate Blooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at how I created the whiskey scene that you can see here on the screen. Now, I'm not going to go in depth into how I created the whole scene as is. I'm going to skip the lemons for now, and I'm going to skip the table. However, I'm going to I'm going to show you how I created the uh, the whiskey glass as well as the liquid inside it and the ice cubes. And I'm also going to try to show you the texturing part. And since the tutorial limit for me is 15 minutes, I think, uh, let's get cracking. So I'm going to be using 3D Studio Max. If you don't have it, that's completely fine. Uh, you can still do it in Softimage, uh, Maya, uh, Blender, whatever you have. It's going to work just perfectly for the same thing. So I'm going to begin by creating a line. Now, as you may not may know, the whiskey glasses are triangles, so we need to get the triangle done. And the way I do it is I create a star, right? I create a star with six points, whatever. So that's basically it. And then I go into the star's properties and I add an editable spline. And basically I take... Um, So basically I take these, I delete them, I take these, I delete them, and I take these, and I delete them. Sorry for the delay, <laughs> uh, because I usually start with a little bit uh, less segments for the star. Anyway, so that's going to be our triangle, and it's a perfectly uh, even triangle. So the next thing is to round off the corners, which is going to be very easy to do. Just select the vertices and use the fillet to round it off. I think that looks just about right, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks okay. So, or maybe actually just a little bit more. Not make it a circle, but you know. Okay, looks fine. That's cool. So the next thing we want to do is add an extrude modifier which is basically gonna give the whole structure some size. Now you probably would, would want to work according to measurements but as you can see my measurements are way way off uh, but I don't care for the purpose of this tutorial but if you do have glass next to you you might want to look into it. I'm just uh, doing some preliminary stuff it's uh, probably not going to be the, the most perfect way of doing it, but uh, that looks about right. Maybe like that. There you go. So the next thing we want to do is add an editable poly. Pick this one, uh, the uh, top polygon, and we're going to inset it a little bit like so. That's gonna be the thickness of our glass. So maybe about there. And then we're gonna use the extrude tool to extrude it inwards. Now don't worry if you don't get it in at first because we are gonna be using uh, the other view to kind of make it more precise. So that seems about right. There we go. And that's almost done actually, which is very cool, isn't it? I'm going to change the shaded view here so you can see better. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to inset the whole structure so I have some edges that I can work with. So I'm going to pick these edges here, I'm going to loop them, and I'm going to use chamfer to kind of give it roundness. As you can see, that works very well. Very nice. And I'm also going to select these as well. I'm going to loop them. And I'm also going to do a chamfer. Just to round them off. There we go. 
I'm gonna basically select one of them and delete them because we have kind of a duplicate thing. And now we're gonna inset this polygon here as well. And basically do the same thing. Again, loop and chamfer. And there we go, very nice. Um, but it does look a little bit kind of edgy and cornery, doesn't it? So we're gonna fix it. And I'm gonna fix it by adding a few loops at first. Basically that's gonna be one, two. And I'm gonna add one, two here. And on the inside as well. One and two. And one and two. And we have two choices now. We can either, if you want to keep a low poly count, you can either select all the polygons and basically click on clear all and then auto smooth, which gives you a result like this, which is pretty nice. Or if you have the polygon budget, you can actually add a turbo smooth modifier on top of things and it will make everything much smoother. In my case I used Turbo Smooth, so that is that. Uh, but before we do that, if you notice the kind of the bottom of uh, these whiskey glasses usually have kind of a ridge, so I'm gonna create that ridge by insetting, insetting one more time and then taking these poly these uh, edges here kind of hard to see these ones click ring to select all the kind of ring edges and then we're going to control click on polygon which converts the selection to polygons and we're going to bevel it bevel it in and Keep it like so. There we go. And again, we're gonna add a couple of loops. One here. And one there. And also, we're gonna inset this polygon a little bit. And again, so when we apply turbo smooth, it looks something like this. There we go. So our class is kind of done. Now we want to create some materials for it, which is gonna be the fun part. Um, if you want, you can use a logo, uh, the actual Grants logo or whatever, to make it look more realistic. And to do that, what I usually do is I, I go to the polygon selection, I go grow, something like that, and basically I go to UVW mapping. Uh, actually at first I changed the ID of this. Actually um, I'm going to select everything reset the ID to 1 and select and grow the selection and set the ID to 2. That way I can apply different materials to different parts of the image uh, of the uh, model. So with these polygons selected if I go to UVW map I can choose the planar projection which looks like crap right about now but we are going to fix it. Select the gizmo and basically just uh, play it, play with it until it ro looks right. Now we're gonna use a local uh, space to kind of see what we're doing. There we go. And we can do a fit. It'll fit perfectly. Very nice. So that's done. Now we can open up the material editor, which is on my second monitor. There we go. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller here. There we go. So basically I'm gonna create a 
if it loads, of course, uh, there we go. I'm gonna load up a standard multi sub object material. I'm gonna discard it, don't need it. I'm gonna set the number of materials to two. For the ID one, which is all the normal glass, we're gonna use the arc and design. Uh, and select E glass solid geometry preset and it's gonna render a little bit blue so I usually just make it pure white in the transparency slot and if you wanna make it a finer glass uh, you can change the index of refraction now it's set to be kind of a glassy thing so we're gonna use a crown glass preset and that's done. We're gonna copy this over to the next slot. Say copy. And uh, we're gonna have a texture on the diffuse slot. And we're gonna go with maps bitmap. And I'm gonna create take this one and use my grants logo that I made. I'm going to switch this to a cube preview and this kind of preview. And it's kind of a uh, chunky now because it has transparency and obviously my uh, shader doesn't really like the transparency. So what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck pre-multiply alpha. I think that fixes it. 